So this is Spoon TV, it's the best of true place, my name. We are live in the Ghana City, Grand Bassa County. Very shortly, the, the standard bearer of the United Party will be talking to the people of Grand Bassa County. So wherever you are, however you're following, uh, welcome to Spoon TV.
We believe we can leave a better Liberia for the younger generation. We have paid our women can be more respected. All the rape cases and all of this, none of them can be solved. We want a good country, a country that talk about development. I just came on very, very harsh road. The road, river said, we don't place it there, we'll put quota on them, we'll pay them. See the population there, the educational system. Our children want quality education. They want good schools. We want to make sure that each child in Liberia will have a seat in class. That's it now talking about each other. We're tired of that. It, it won't happen to me, but my life is to protect you. Your leadership is a power to create opportunity for other people. And that's why we came to you. That's why we are very grateful to you. They can do all the wishes. Live with them. I would have been dead by now. But they are the one dying. Because I'm here on a mission to make sure that we put dignity on our country, that the younger generation will have a better life when we are born. If we don't do that, you can clap for them, you can wish them well, they're not going to help you. They're not going to put bread on the table. Parents are not going to be respected. You can't have such people until you have development. They don't know about development. Look at the road condition. They don't even care. The city of Monrovia, you drive on it, it's like washboard, like you're being massaged. A few years we took the road, we improved them. Because they gave contract to three different people to collect money. The free poor road, they have given contract to how many people, they can't finish. These are not the people that belong to a country that need to be improved. So I want to say to you, the rescue team was a well calculated idea that we know our people are in trouble and that we have to come together, forget about ourselves and rescue this country for future generations. I, I told a story yesterday in, uh, in Lac about a blind man, a blind man who was escorted to his house by a friend. And then when they got there, he put a light on. And the friend said, but you can't see, why you put a light on for? And the man didn't say anything. He went in the kitchen, prepared coffee for his friend. He came back and put a light on again. And the friend said, you put a light on again? He said, yes. The reason I put a light on is not because I am blind. But because I know you can see, you need light. Light is about elevating other people. It's about improving their lives. It's about putting, because you have a job, the other man might not have a job. Because you have gone to school, the other children should not go to school. Because you can send your children to a different country, the other people's children should. No way. If we wait long enough, this country is in trouble. It's in trouble. And that's why we have come together. We we'll thank all the rescue members. And they are increasing by the day. Because everybody wants good life. Everybody wants to move on. So today we are here to thank you. That come October 10. I'm so happy. That the other numbers are way down. All you do, vote number what? Two. And two. And a short time. We are going to bring investment.
officials in this country. We want to create a job. We want to make sure that our kids are in school. We want to make sure that our children learn and cool. Our parents will be proud of their children again. I want to see schools where every weekend the children can compete. We want to see that television station, good football stadium, so that the children can enjoy but at the same time learn. Why will you deprive other people, children, of that opportunity? Because you can send yours out. I'm telling you people, Liberians, this is the last time from now to the 10th of October to kick these people out of office, open opportunities for our people, bring blessing to this country. Our resources are for you, and we have to develop them to make sure that you benefit from them. You know how our women like to dress? Do you think they want to be sitting at all their time or what? They want good roads. We want to relay out these streets, make them look like cities. You come from good cities. You visit other countries. For me, everything good I want in my country. And that's what we're going to do. So we want to thank you. We want to tell you that Liberia is on the move. It's going to be a new direction. It's going to be a Liberia for Liberians. It's going to be a Liberia for young people to develop. It's going to be a Liberia that all of us will be proud of. But other people, they are proud of other countries. We want to be proud of this country. This is the country God has given us. I want to thank you. I want to say to you, come October 10th, and the people we have already enlisted to support because they think like us and they will work with us to make sure that our country move on a far development. Thank you. God bless you. The voice of Ambassador Joseph Wagai speaking from the Ghana city here, in Grand Bassa County. One of the persons that we know have served our party here for years and with the support of the rescue team, we want to recommend her. I've never seen a lady this much committed. Good or bad, you stand with us. And so today we want to raise our hand. Do no, recommend her to you for election. Julia Bono, I know her. Thank you so much because if you have good people, they will bring good ideas for us to work with and we improve your life. Thank you, Julia. God bless you. The voice of Ambassador Joseph Wakai. Of course, he just spoke to uh, the people of Grand Bassa County, uh, specifically those from the
juice. Guarantee juice wherever you are, be getting ready. Yes. The era council, the era council. One representative from the era council. While they are coming, the representative for the young people. Abraham King Jones. Abraham King Jones. The representative from the era council is coming. The first time photo be getting ready.
to ensure that proper accountability of our resources, to ensure that Liberia can be transformed to an industrial agriculture country. We want to say to you, vote Ambassador Mwaka number two, come to one ten. We want to say to you, vote Jonathan Kampe number four on the ballot for Grand Master County. I am the Senator for the Rescue Team. And I call on all of you citizens to vote the rescue team, vote all of the representatives because we want to make sure that the legislative agenda of Ambassador Baka is in hands. Thank you. See you at October 10. Vote Jessica Emma Baka. Vote Janet Okape. Vote Sato Dennis. Vote um, George. And vote. And the rest of the team, may God bless all of us. All right, thank you very much. We have so much.